Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil. This is our fourth video on the Vue.js and in this video we will start with the component and we will see that how we can start with the writing the code in the Vue.js. So these are some points that we are going to learn in this video. First of all, we will install the Vetcher extension so that we can just read the view file code. For example, if you just open the hello world.view file, you will see this code is actually not readable. There is a no different color for the HTML tag, no different color for the style and no different color for the JavaScript. All right. So when I will install it, then you will see this uh, view file code like uh, normal JS file. The everything will be uh, colorful. All right. And this is more readable. After that, we will see what is the component, how we can make a component, how we can define the props and export the component and how we can use and import the components. All right. So first of all let's go inside the plugin area extension area and just simply write here butcher and uh, let's install the first plugin you will find that and this is you can say that around uh, good uh, rating also more than 4.5 and when this is installed now let's open this any uh, view file and you will see that now your code is uh, a little bit colorful and this is more readable all right so after that now the second point is what is the component so basically uh, component is a piece of code you can say that and this is uh, basically responsible for a specific task for example uh, a header can be a component a footer can be a component let's say you have a search box area like uh, you have a search button search text box or some area to show that uh, search all right so this can be a different component also these components are reusable you can use them more than one time on a single screen that's why uh, let's say you have a search area in the header as well as in the footer so that you can use the same component in the both of place and it will save the lots of time and lots of the coding coding and you can say that uh, performance and all all right after that uh, if you just want to uh, compare the component then you can compare with them as a function like function are the reusable and we can just pass some data uh, like in parameters and we can also pass some data in the components with the props we will see in this the component uh, they are pretty similar right so you can just uh, compare them little bit but there is ha they have a lots of uh, uh, difference in both of them right you will see in this video also so after that we will see how we can make it so for that now let's start uh, as i told you in the previous video when we just start to making the component we have to make inside the components folder right. so just write here uh, file and i am just going to make a home dot js it should not be js it should be view file right and when you just make first of all we have to define two things one is the template all right here we will write our complete HTML part then we have a script in the script we will write some uh, JS code and here we can also write the style but we are not going to focus on the style for a moment all right when you just define the template I can just uh, write some text like hello uh, okay what's what is that this is not looking cool all right now this is fine so i just write here hello from home component all right so when you just define it here then we have to export this component also so i am just going to put the name here name of the component can be home and uh, now I can use it anywhere. So now let's import this component in the app.view file and uh, just write here import home from and uh, here you can just write here components and uh, hello dot view. All right. And now you will see that uh, there is an error home is defined but not used so let's use it here like this all right and uh, you can see that this is actually uh, a register but not declared so on this 
template part let's use it like this all right so this is the normal style you can also remove it so this is the big deal and this is the home by default component i will show you and remove it also so now you can see that our home component in the downside because the hello world component in the top so i can just comment uh, it out from there also and there also and now let's check hello and there is a one image also so i can just comment this image also like this but this is looking cool that's why i'm just going to put it again all right so this is a simple way now uh, maybe you think if this is a component and you told me that we can pass the data inside the component as a function then how we can pass it this is also very simple so let's say i am just going to pass some data or any parameter like uh, hello uh, from um just simply write here anil uh, anil is here right just like this now if i'm just going to come here and let's write here h1 component one more h1 component and i can just simply write here data then can i see it now no there is a two problem still first thing is in the template we should be a root component root component means on a root level there should be only a one component so i can just put here a div and inside the div we can use our tags the h1 tags like this now the second problem is when you define any props you have to just define inside the uh, in export default also right so now i am just going to define props and props basically have an object and in the object i am going to define the data like this and now let's see and is here right so can i pass the two data also yes we can pass the two data also so let's come back here and let's pass here messages uh we are friends all right and here i can just define the messages in string again and uh, now i can just take a third one and just pass here messages now let's see what getting here we are friends you got it here all right so yes we can use this component again and again so if i am just going to make some copies like this all right then you will see we got the lots of data again and again all right so this is the way that how we can reuse it all right i just copy and paste it this is looking ugly but i hope you understand that we can use it again and again there is a no error kind of thing all right so this these are the old things so all point are finished yes we import define make everything is done so thanks for watching this video in the upcoming video we will learn more about the vue js don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care